Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. And I'd like to say thank you again to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't already, this is your reminder to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will know when I have a new upload. And also, like on this video. So this is a collective haul of bath, all Bath & Body Works. It's several orders that came finally. So I've been waiting on them for a little bit. Um, I don't even know where to start. There's so much in here because there was so many different sales. There was a 550 sale. There was a 295 sale for soaps. Also on one of the Aroma Oasis fragrances, I already have a review up and that should be for, I'm holding it right now, Sandalwood, Eucalyptus, and Mandarin. So if you like that, I'm, I don't know if I can link it or not, but I would say go back and watch it. So if you're interested in buying it and you're not sure how you feel about it. So I'm going to start actually with the Aroma Oasis line since I have it handy right here. I did get all three that were in the line. There's Sandalwood, Eucalyptus, and Mandarin. This one I do feel is a nice fragrance. It, none of these were nearly as strong as I was expecting them to be. Aromatherapy usually is pretty fragrant, but for some reason it wasn't. So I did get the Sandalwood, Eucalyptus, and Mandarin. We also have the pineapple, lime, and eucalyptus in this one. This one's decent. It seems like it's slightly stronger than the other one was, so I'm probably going to get a review for this one. It is a nice fruity scent with a little bit of eucalyptus. It really depends on the fragrance, and I can't really say much because I don't have a review up for these yet. And then last but not least, there was hibiscus, mandarin, and violet. That was pretty, huh? This one may be slightly too floral for me. I'm gonna have to wait and see because I noticed a slight bit of mandarin in the other one when it dried down, but this may have a little bit more. And of course I did get the lotion and the spray too. And sprays on these are really small. I wish they made them a little bit bigger to go with the bigger sizes. This is also slightly smaller than the other Bath & Body Works one. The only one that I think is still the same size is the body wash, if I'm correct. Yeah, body wash is always the same size, but for some reason the lotion and the um, the lotion and the mist are a little bit smaller than normal than the other body care line that they have. And that's everything I got for that one. The next one I got some of my missing items here. We got Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist to go with the other items that I bought. Pretty as a peach shower gel. Right now I'm having my project use it up all peachy, but I really do like Pretty as a Peach, so I did want to get a backup of that one for when it's gone. We also got Almond Blossom, the shower gel for it. Shower gel for white tea and sage, so I should be doing a review for this one pretty soon. And there's Freddy Bear hair on it. He likes to sit in these boxes. Usually they're empty, but once in a while he will sit on the stuff that has product in it, but not very often. He's a special kitty. And I also got the lotion for the Into the Night. So I have all of those. And this also came in the same haul as that one. I got A Thousand Wishes, the new candle. I love this scent. I don't care what anybody says about it. A lot of people think it's played out and don't seem to like it. I love this fragrance. I do wear it from time to time. They had a 650 wick sale and I wanted to get these ones. I don't mind single wicks at all. If you notice, I actually am burning one right now and I believe that's Bubbly Rosé. About halfway through it, so I finished. I'd prob I figured I'd probably fin just finish it off. That way I can make room for some more stuff. We've got Blue Raspberry Snow Cone. And these don't have the notes on them. I should have, oh wait, they do. I for, I keep forgetting that they actually put them on here. It's blue raspberry syrup, hint of cherry, and scoop of shaved ice. And so it seems pretty light on cold, but the fragrance itself is on par with those notes. So I am gonna like it. I do like blueberry fragrances from time to time. Next one is coconut colada. And let's see, this is coconut rum, crushed pineapple, and sweet vanilla. I like this one. I'm not picking up too awfully much of the pineapple. I think I might buy another one because I do like it. It's 
smooth, you know, it's got that rummy fragrance to it, and it doesn't scream pineapple at you. It's a maybe. I want to see how it burns first. This is uh, definitely a different candle for me. I'm not used to them with a little bit of rum in it. I could use some rum right about now anyway. Next, I've got The Perfect Summer. The notes for this one are sun-kissed citrus, orange blossom, and coconut. This smells like sunscreen. <laughs> I can't, there's no other way to describe it. This smells like sunscreen. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this one or hate this one. There, there's a Scentsy fragrance that was similar to this, but not exactly the same, called Sea Sun and Fun, and it smelled just like sunscreen. Makes you think ocean and beach. The smell itself does kind of make me miss like when we went to Hawaii or when we used to go to like Half Moon Bay and places like that when we lived in California. But also I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it in a candle. So we're gonna have to wait and see. And next is Mermaid Lagoon. And I heard good and bad reviews about this one. I believe they had it last year. The notes are Coral Waters, Beach Gardenia and Red Sandalwood. I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit muddled, like a muddled seawater kind of hibiscus-y mess for some reason. I'm not sure if it's really gonna be like on my favorites list or not. I'm gonna burn it and I will keep you posted to how I feel about it. And last but not least, from that same order, we have some soaps and I had done the four for 20 deal even though it's not the best deal to do. I, they had brand new soaps, so I wanted to try them. And then a few days later, they had the $2.95 sale. So I have quite a few from that one too. We've got You're Very Cool, Very Waffle Cone. And this is another one where a lot of people either love this or hate this fragrance. Let me open it up and give it another sniff. Um, some people actually even referred to the hand soap as smelling like vomit. I don't see that. I'm, I'm smelling that waffle cone and the berry fragrance mixed together. So it's like a nice, like crusty dessert to me, but that's just my own personal opinion. Not everyone is going to love this fragrance, but trust me, um, I have a kid and, um, she used to have this problem called getting car sick. That does not smell like vomit. I have cleaned up plenty in my day, unfortunately. Um, there was a couple times actually since we moved here where her tummy was upset and she got sick in the middle of the night and I had to clean it while dad ran for the hills. So the next one is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I forgot to read you the notes on the other one. You're very cool, very waffle cone. The notes are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla, which I think it does live up to its name. Next we have, uh, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. This one, no, I think it was a different one that I, the candle I didn't like, but this is Marshmallow Fluff, Vanilla Bean, and Creamy Caramel. I think I had a couple other ones of this that I might have used recently. That's probably what I'm thinking of. Let's see. Oops. Yes, this one is a very good, nice, smooth vanilla, and it is very light and summery. And uh, that packaging is amazing. I think it's really, really pretty. That's a nice picture. And I like the designs on this one too. I mean, they're they're different. I was expecting something a little bit better, but they're also very, very pretty. And this is Sweet Strawberry Scoop. And the notes are sugared pink strawberries, vanilla bean ice cream. So we all know this is like right up my alley. But why didn't they come out with this in uh, body care? This one is very, very, very sugary. I do like it and it's very nice. The packaging, I, I like the packaging on these. They have like this whole new set coming out with this type of packaging. I do like it. I think it's very pretty and it's a nice menage of colors. I think a slight bit more creativity could have gone into some of the packaging. I think it's pretty, but I think they could have added something to it. I'm not sure what I would really have to think on it, but it's all up to them. I'm not a designer, so I don't know. I do appreciate the art and I think it's pretty. We've got You Are My Sunshine Island Punch. And the notes on this are tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugar cane. That just smells just kind of fruity, not like a particular type of punch. 
A lot of the ones that have like these characters or a little character type of packaging, I usually put it in Sita's bathroom. I do use them from time to time. I like them. I think they're cute. So the next one that I have is from the $2.95 sale for the soaps. This one is Orange You Amazing Sunny Squeeze, which is fresh squeezed orange, tangy tangerine, and sugar crystals. Wow, that smells just like an orange, like literally. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, I might use this. I do, I do like orange scents. I don't know if we're gonna use it up now or maybe at a different time. It does smell very, very orangey. So if you love citrus and orange, do that. And then I had a couple that leaked. This one leaked the watermelon lemonade. It's very pretty, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and wipe this one down. I can get it open. And this is just your typical watermelon lemonade. We all know that it's a repackage. I do like um, the kind of tropical vibe that they have going on in the front there. More that got spilled on. Next is Sunshine and Lemons. And this is one that I think actually leaked because of how low that is. I would have to go, yeah, this one definitely leaked. So I might have to call customer service for that. Oh, they both leaked. Look at how high it is. But, um, these are really nice. I like this one, Sunshine and Lemons. For a while I didn't like it because it was too lemony, but I don't mind it in the hall bathroom or like in the kitchen. I've been having some like lemon vibes going on. So we're gonna try this one out and see again. It has really pretty packaging. I like the filter I guess they used to change it, I would have to say. Next is Endless Weekend, which I haven't had this one in a while, but I do have um, the body fragrance in this and I haven't had it in a soap in quite some time. The notes on this are sunkissed magnolia, fresh orange and blue coconut water, which I don't remember. I thought it had apple in it for some reason. Maybe I'm thinking of beautiful day. And this one is a nice fresh scent. I think I used it last summer and I might use it again this summer. So we'll have to wait and see. Again, it has really pretty packaging. And I like this one with the little bicycles riding down the coast. We've got coastal watermelon. And this one is juicy watermelon, pinch of pink salt, sea salt, and ocean waves. What was the notes on the other one? The other one was watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Mayo lemon. So this is less, supposed to be less lemony. This one is very, just hits me as just very watermelon. So I do like this one and I do appreciate the packaging. Next we have Bright Summer Days, and I thought that was really pretty with the balloons. Um, I know they have a lot of balloons in New Mexico. They don't seem to have them here that I've seen. It would be kind of fun, but oh well. We've got coconut milk, sunny star fruit, and warm sands. Um, not bad, but personally, I probably, because of where you usually see hot air balloons versus what the fragrance is, I probably would have done this on a different package. Only because I've never, in California at least, I never saw any hot air balloons up above the water. Maybe in other areas, maybe on the East Coast, I don't know. I also got Peach Prosecco Macaron, the hand soap. Only because I'm actually using this this month too, this fragrance, so I figure I might as well have a matching hand soap. And then we have another kitchen lemon, which I used up my other kitchen lemon, so I'm probably going to be putting this in the kitchen. Like most of my lemony scents, we've got zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. And the notes on peach prosecco and macaron, in case you didn't know them, were peach prosecco, vanilla cream, and macaron. Am I saying that right? Is it macaron or macaron? No, macaron. I am saying it right. Okay. Next we have wild wildberry lemonade. And the notes for this one are old-fashioned lemonade, crushed raspberries, and frozen cherries. I heard someone complain about this, but I don't remember what the complaint was. This one is pretty zesty when it comes to the berries. It's got it's got a very strong zest of both the lemonade and the berries in it. I think I'll probably be enjoying it. To me, it almost has like that bubbly champagne-y quality to it. 
And then I have turquoise water, which is something that's a little bit out of my realm. I think it's going to be a bit strong for me, but we're going to see. We've got bergamot, daylily, and sea spray. This is something I usually wouldn't choose, but I have been trying to use some fresher fragrances, and I might put this in the bathroom where my husband can use it too. Actually, this is a very nice one, so I might look and see. I don't think they may or may not have this in the men's collection, but I might have to buy it for him. I don't know that he'd use it, but I might have to buy it for him. We've got Cabana Escape as the last one, and that is Aloe Water, Warm Summer Breeze, and Juicy Mango. This one is just like a light sea breeze type of fragrance to me. It's I'm not picking up on any mango, so I guess using it would be the telltale way to see. But I believe that is everything for my collective haul of about four different orders. But I will also be having more orders come in because they're having a $12.95 sale right now. So I hope you got to it. I know I did. So I'll be talking to you later. Bye.